And there we go. Another one falls to the serial killer. Just slow figure of eight. About oh, three foot down on the midge tip. Took it lovely, took the top dropper. Nice fish. Nice fish. And there's the serial killer in its mouth, just in the top lip. And there it is, the serial killer, stuck in the corner of its mouth. Lovely. Another one. Hi. Thanks for joining. Uh, today's pattern um, we're going to tie is absolutely devastating when you're amongst trout. It's uh, so good, actually, I call it the serial killer. Uh, it's put together in two parts. The body part is taken um, from the world famous um, apps worm, Peter Rattleby created. Um, some of the most devastating patterns ever used on still waters. Um, so this body is part of the app's blood worm. Um, it's then teamed up with um, another deadly uh, product for trout, which is the squirmy wormy. You either love it or hate it, but when you use it, the trout absolutely go mad. So we'll do it in, the two, in two steps. So we'll create the body first. Um, the hook I've got in the vise is uh, Fario Wet, size 10. Um, the thread we use for the body is uh, Glow Bright number five. So, and we'll start off, we'll lay some thread down, get we started. Now, in this fly, we use flexi floss. Now, this is ox blood or deep blood red. It's called various colours, but it's like a really dark red maroon colour. Uh, we use this for the rib and um, to create the loops, which actually holds the worm onto the body. It is uh, my replaceable method design um, so you take about three inches of the flexi floss turn it around and create a small loop put the loop onto the top towards the eye now you have to have the loop small, it's critical you keep the loop small, if, you, if the loops are too big then it doesn't grip the worm part, uh, it's essential to have to keep them small, you can keep them smaller than you think because you think oh the worm will not go through there but it will when you do it with a bobbin uh, threader, so we'll put that in, I've cut the, the tag off and then we'll go down towards the bend And then we just bend that over to create your second loop at the back. So if you put it just a couple of loose turns, you can then adjust the size of your loop to the size you want. Just holding the loop down with your finger. And then you can cinch it down. Cut this excess off. Just create a little bit of a body. 
Now we're going to put a rib in this again with the with the flexi floss. So we'll just take a small piece. Tie it in, and we're going to pull this tight so there's no bulk towards the back end of the fly. Again, pull that tag tight, put it off, and create the body. You want the colour to come through on this, so you want you want plenty of uh, body material because obviously the colours uh, the great attractor. So now what we do is rib the body up. Now you want plenty of the. Um, the colour coming through so you don't want the ribs so close so just up to the top over the top pull it tight cut it off and then basically just um, make your head, create the head, and pull this up around the front and then just finish it off with a couple of, a couple of turns, snip it off. So there's your, your body created. Now, in the actual apps worm that Peter ties, he advocates using super glue, but um, super glue and squirmy wormy don't go together very well. If you get any super glue on this or you get any varnish on this, this is where a lot of people um, fall down. It actually can perish. So uh, what I tend to use is a very fine coat of UV resin on the body itself. Just keep it nice and fine. It's just to uh, give it a coating. So just there you go. You can see that orange colour coming through uh, against the um, against the actual ribbon, the dark ribbon. So we'll hit it with the UV light. That's it. No. Um, when you get your Squirmy wormy. I normally have them. Um, I have a, a template. It's uh, three and a quarter inches. That's the nice length for for these. Now you can uh, use a bobbin threader to go through the loops and pull your pull your squirmy wormy through the retaining loops. So we'll take the bobbin threader. Push it through the loops. Like so. Put the fattest bit of the worm in first. First, which goes to the front. Pull it through, lift it up a bit. And then pull it through. Now you know if you've got the tension right, because if you pull the worm and the middle bit stays thinner than this, 
you know the tension's right. If you haven't got the loops, if the loops is too big, that will not happen. But you, as you can see, you can you can pull that. The fish can pull that if they want it and it's soft, and they'll not pull that worm out. But um, if it does happen to bite off the tail end, which can happen after quite a few fish, you can just replace the, the worm bit itself, which is the whole idea why I designed this, this, this pattern. Um, so there you have it. Um, absolutely deadly. The love, the pattern, the body is tried and tested by Peter Zapp's worm. The um, squirmy wormy is renowned for catching fish that they, they love it they don't spin it out it feels natural to them so this one just uh trout just become victims that's why it's called the serial killer i hope you enjoyed it get some tied up um use it give us a shout i think you'll be uh, impressed how many fish you catch on it um please check out all my other videos and like and subscribe thanks for watching cheers now